Now VLAN 2, let's say it's 192.168.1.1. Zero slash twenty four. Now bear in mind that the switch doesn't <laughs> doesn't care about OP addressing. It's not bothered. When we need to route between the two different VLANs, then we'll go off to this this guy here. But for the moment, all all we want to configure is two different VLANs. Now, if you configured it this way, uh, VLAN two would not be able to speak to VLAN three. But that really doesn't matter. For the point of this lab, all we want to make sure is that the devices on VLAN 2 can communicate between each other and the devices down here um, on this VLAN can communicate as well. Communication between the two um, device, which we'll talk about in a while. It's well worth you penciling this out as well on a, on a piece of paper because otherwise it's easy to get lost as to where we are. When you're configuring the switch you need to know which devices are plugged into where. And I know this may sound painfully obvious when I say it but I've often connect, connected up um, a switch in a in a rack somewhere, um, walked off or even driven off somewhere and thought hang on a minute wh where did I plug uh, which device. And it can be a little bit embarrassing having to come back. So what we'll do is I'll indicate to you which devices are plugged into where so when we're configuring it in a while you can see so PC0 is connected to fast ethernet 0 slash 1 on the switch Fast Ethernet 0 slash 2. PC3 is connected to Fast Ethernet 0 slash 4. And PC4 is connected to Fast Ethernet 0 slash 5. So note that down if you want, or second time round when you come to look at this video, just note down which is where. So here is our network. PC0, PC1, obviously I'll switch in the middle, PC3 and PC4. The other thing to bear in mind is you need a fairly recent version of iOS on your switch. The reason is there's old fashioned commands known as VLAN database. We don't want to be using the VLAN database command because it's not applicable anymore for the CCNA. So first thing is I'll issue a show version command on the switch. So this will basically tell me what the S release is on the switch. Well the model first. So we've got 2950T, 24 port. If we scroll up here, we've got version 12.122 EA4 is our iOS on our switch. The other thing we need to know is, uh, not for this lab, but our MAC address. This is the MAC address for the chassis of the switch. Alright, search up for config terminal. Now, you won't believe how simple is, this is really. It's to create a VLAN, all we say is VLAN2 in config mode. And VLAN2 has been created. It drops, the switch drops into config-VLAN. If you want, uh, it's a pretty good idea to give the um, the VLAN a name. So, name. I think we called it HR for VLAN two. Forgive me. I just I just want to check so I know I've got it right. Yeah, VLAN two is HR. Okay. Now you could exit here back to config mode and type VLAN three, or you should as long as you've got a reasonably decent, uh, decently new I iOS be able to just from there type VLAN 3 and name is finance for VLAN 3 and that's it we've created our VLAN so if I type control and say but it doesn't matter show VLAN brief 
and we can see we have two VLANs configured on our switch. VLAN number two, HR. VLAN number three is finance. Now look at all these ports we have on our switch, fast ethernet zero slash one to 24, and then our two gigabit ethernet ports. These are all in VLAN one, which is our default VLAN, native VLAN here. What we want to do, do you remember we said we want to put our devices, our PCs into the correct VLANs. So fast ethernet zero slash one, I'll be going into VLAN two and zero slash four if you look back at our diagram in fact we've got it just here zero slash one and zero slash four will be in vlan two zero slash two and zero slash five are in vlan three so two and five need to go into vlan three now by default all um ports on the switch are access ports they're pretty clever, the 2950, and they can actually put themselves into uh, a, trunk, a trunking port if they detect on the other side. So, conf t, again, that's the, the basic command. I don't type, tend to type out the full commands. In the exam, you should be fine typing int instead of interface, fast, ether. That's just not very efficient. You wouldn't do it in the real world, would you? And in the exam, the emulator in the exam, you should be okay. So, interface f slash sorry f0 slash 1 and we've dropped into config dash if if in the exam that command doesn't work for any reason you can you obviously know you can type out interface but it should work fine and then say I type the command switch the um, the question mark, sorry, should work in the exam as well. Some people say it doesn't, but it really should work. But at the end of the day, the command is only switch port. So it's not too hard to remember. If you get stuck again, you can type the question mark. The command we're looking for here is access. So I'll press your power, switch port, access. And what we want to do is drop this into a VLAN. Oops. And then you can see the next command available is VLAN. And do you remember the VLAN we want for 0 slash 1? It's VLAN 2. And there we go. It's not too difficult, was it? Now, we don't have to drop out of interface mode. We can just type int f 0 slash 4 and switch port access VLAN 2. So 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 4 are now in VLAN 2. I could do a show VLAN brief command, but I'd really like to put all our interfaces in, into the correct VLAN. Interface fast 0 slash 2. And remember, this is going into VLAN 3. Switch port access VLAN 3. And interface fast 0 slash 5. Switch port access VLAN 3. So I'll do Control and Z now. Show VLAN brief. And let's just see what we've done. We've got VLAN 2, the HR VLAN, it is active, and we've got ports fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 in there. And finance. VLAN 3 active, we've got interface fast ethernet 0 slash 2 and 0 slash 5 in there. Um, so that's fine. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to configure the PCs to have the correct IP addresses. You you obviously should know how to do this. You prob probably won't need to worry about this for the exam. They'll probably say that the device is already uh, configured with IP addresses, but I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'll just pause the video. Okay, so I've configured the IP addresses on our devices. I just want to pick a font that's going to stand 